today on how it's made. Automotive fuel pumps. Without them, we'd be running on empty. Cricket bats. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Change machines. Ka-ching, ka-ching, to coin a phrase. And ductile iron pipe. How it's made goes underground. When you start your car, it activates a pump that's usually located inside the gas tank. This electrical pump pushes the gas out of the tank to injectors which aerate the gas and deliver it to the engine's cylinders. Without a pump to get fuel flowing, you'd be going nowhere. You might think that submerging an electrical pump in gasoline would be a risky thing, but because liquid fuel doesn't explode on its own, it's actually a very safe place to put it. They begin with the pumping mechanism, sandwiching a gear and several rollers between two metal plates. The rollers will rotate to pull fuel into the pump and then push it out. They test each roller assembly by spinning it from the bottom. A robot then pops it out and moves it to the next station. Here they attach the electrical motor to the roller pumping mechanism. Then they slide a magnetic sleeve over the assembly and cap it. All the parts that make up the pumping mechanism have now been assembled. Next, they install an end cap that includes a filter made of metal mesh. They slide a metal sleeve over the pump unit and press fit it together. Inside this special chamber, large magnets generate a very strong magnetic field. The magnetic force field actually causes the metal sleeve to collapse. This crimps the sleeve at one end, holding everything together. Next, they place retainer rings into slots in the fuel pump cap. They place a metal bracket over the pump. The bracket steadies it and serves as a guide as they install the brushes and coils which will supply electricity to the fuel pump motor. They slide a brass terminal onto the end of each coil and brush assembly to facilitate the electrical connection. Then they press fit the terminals to the assembly so they're firmly attached. When the job is done, a robot removes the bracket. They've built this fuel pump from the inside out, and now the actual workings are complete. They hook each pump up to a power source and run fluid through it to test the pumping action. Then they check for proper flow and pressure. If the pump passes inspection, a robot sends it down the assembly line, where they assemble the system of tubing that will carry the gasoline to the engine. They seal the joints with a brazing paste. Then it's into a gas oven that bakes the brazing paste, causing it to harden and fuse to the tubing. Using oven mitts, they remove the tubing from the oven and brush off any unwanted bits of metal and hardened paste. They cap the tubing to keep dirt and debris out as a packaging precaution. Now they hook up some rubber tubing to the pump and secure it with metal clamps. They link it to the rest of the piping and hoses. They wire the fuel pump and hook up a connector to attach it to the engine's wiring, 